This is a super cool vehicle that we get to check out today. This is the all new 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Jeep definitely threw a curve to the competition with this vehicle. It's very versatile and for Wrangler fans, it's going to give you a more truck like feel and you're still going to have the off-road 4x4 capability. Before we begin the review, I'd like to give a big thanks and shout out to Miller's Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Martinsburg, West Virginia for providing the awesome all new 2020 Jeep Gladiator for me to film. I love what I do, filming cars is what I love and that's what really counts when push comes to shove. There are going to be four packages available with the new Gladiator. There's going to be the Sport Package, the Sport S Package, the Overland Package, and also the Rubicon. The model that we have with us today is the Sport Package, but it does have quite a bit of options that we're going to go over in this video to help get you better informed about the all-new Gladiator. The base starting price of a 2020 Gladiator in the Sport Package is going to be $33,545. After options and add-ons, the one we have with us today comes out at 45805 so you can see that it definitely has a lot of extra equipment. Optional equipment includes the customer preferred package 24S for $3,200. That gives you 17 inch by 7.5 tech silver aluminum wheels, power windows with front one touch down, power tailgate lock, speed sensitive power locks, power heated mirrors, remote keyless entry, a security alarm, a leather wrapped steering wheel, deep tint sunscreen windows, automatic headlamps, sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors, normal duty plus suspension, a seven inch radio group, Uconnect 4 with seven inch touchscreen display for $995, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, air conditioning with the automatic temperature control, Sirius XM with a one-year radio subscription, the convenience group for $395, universal garage door opener, the cold weather group for $995, gives you heated front seats, heated steering wheel, remote start, not available with the manual, we have the automatic with us, so we do have remote start, max tow package with a 410 axle ratio, $995, the tires are going to be $245, 75 R17 all terrains, heavy duty Dana 44 wide front axle, and also heavy duty Dana 44 wide rear axle, 410 axle ratio, class 4 receiver hitch, trailer hitch zoom, daytime running lamp system, heavy duty engine cooling, 240 amp alternator, auxiliary switch group for $295, 4 programmable auxiliary switches. 700 amp maintenance free battery the 8 speed automatic 850 re transmission is a two thousand dollar upcharge select speed control transmission skid plate tip start alpine premium audio system for twelve hundred ninety five dollars and the premium black sunrider soft top is an additional five hundred and ninety five dollars so that's going to be all of your optional equipment the leg room in the front of the gladiator is going to be 41.2 inches. Rear legroom is going to come in at 38.3 inches. Passenger interior volume comes in at 103 cubic feet. Shoulder room up front comes in at 55.7 inches. The base weight of a Gladiator Sport with an automatic transmission comes in at 4,691 pounds. The same Sport model with a manual transmission is going to be 4,650 pounds. Approachable angle ground clearance is 40.8 degrees. Breakover angle ground clearance is 18.4 degrees. And departure angle ground clearance is 25 degrees. Overall body width of the Gladiator is 73.8 inches. Overall height is 75 inches. The overall length of the Gladiator is 218 inches long running ground clearance is 10 inches. The wheelbase of the Gladiator is 137.3 inches long. The engine that's going to come in the new Gladiator is a 3.6 liter variable valve timing 
24 valve v6 engine two transmission options available are a six-speed manual or an eight-speed 850 re automatic transmission for four-wheel drive systems you do have a 4-1 rock track heavy-duty part-time four-wheel drive system you also have a command track part-time four-wheel drive system for safety and security the new gladiator does offer adaptive cruise control with forward collision warning plus advanced brake assist advanced multi-stage front airbags anti-lock four-wheel disc hd brakes automatic crash notification service blind spot and cross path detection electronic roll mitigation electronic stability control front passenger seat belt alert hill start assist hydraulic assist brake booster occupant detection system park sense rear park assist system park view backup camera push button start remote keyless entry a standard security alarm select speed control selectable tire fill alert sentry key theft deterrent system speed sensitive power locks supplemental front seat side airbags tip start traction control trailer sway control the gladiator does have vented front and rear rotors under the hood of the new gladiator we will find the 3.6 liter v6 engine latch releases on each side of the front of the hood this engine is going to produce 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque switchblade style key fob press the lock button once it locks all the doors press the start button twice after pressing the lock button and the remote start will engage press the lock button once to unlock the driver's door pressing it twice will unlock the entire vehicle also the red button is your panic alarm button of course the doors on the gladiator are able to be removed as well as the top the gladiator does have locking front and rear differentials an electronic disconnecting sway bar rock rails fox shocks average miles per gallon is 16 city and 23 highway and the gladiator can tow up to 7650 pounds one of the coolest features of the new gladiator is how many features that its top does have you do have the ability to have no top a zipperless sunrider soft top body color hard top black freedom top hard top the one on it right now is the black sunrider soft top and we're not going to remove the top in the video but it does look very cool with the top off and the doors off and also the windshield folded forward it really looks pretty cool here's an up close look at your 17 inch aluminum wheels 245 75 r17 bridgestone dueler all-terrain tires additional features for the back of the gladiator include a rugged steel box you do have a damped tailgate trail rail system optional tonneau cover weatherproof power outlet also led lighting in your bed cargo tie downs at each four corners of the bed of the jeep notice your backup camera in the rear black jeep lettering tow package down low on the outside we have the bright white exterior and stepping inside we have a black cloth interior getting up into the vehicle is very easy even when the vehicle doesn't have running steps to fully activate the vehicle just apply your foot to the brake and push the push button ignition and the vehicle will fully activate to be driven three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with stitching turn signal and high beam controls on the left side daytime running lamps Controls for that on the left side of the steering wheel, fog light controls, power windows, locks, and mirrors, brushed chrome interior door handles. Also, on the bottom of the doors, on each side, you do have nets to keep papers or whatever you might want to store in the door there. The vehicle does have hands-free calling with Bluetooth. There are no phones connected. 
Connect to phone and try again. You also do have toggle switches here on the left side of the wheel to view information such as your oil life, drivetrain information, average fuel economy, and distance to empty. Also, controls for your XM, AM, and FM radio are able to be viewed right in the center of your tack and speedometer. Stored messages, anything that the vehicle's trying to tell you like low tire pressure, change oil soon, low fuel, anything like that's going to show up there. On the far left, you do have your tachometer. Next to that is going to tell you if the vehicle's in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Next to that is your engine temp gauge. Above that, you do have a compass. Just across from that, you have an outside temp gauge. Below that is your fuel gauge. In the center is going to indicate what gear you're in. Also, manual shiftability. The backup camera. Also, when the vehicle is in drive, by pushing the apps button, you can click your backup camera. So even when you're moving forward, you are able to take a look at that backup camera to look at vehicles or just objects behind you. You can control your climate controls right on this touchscreen system. Driver heated seat, passenger heated seat, the backup camera as we just saw, heated steering wheel, audio settings, compass, more climate settings and controls, by pressing phone, you'll be able to hook up a phone to the vehicle to do texting and calls right through this screen. By pressing settings, you have language settings, display settings, auxiliary switch settings, units, voice settings, clock settings, safety and driving assistance, park view backup camera delay, active park view backup camera guidelines, fixed park view backup camera guidelines, hill start assist. The system we have with us is the seven inch Uconnect system and it does have a very responsive feel. It doesn't lag at all. Volume controls just down to the left. Very nice quality system, crisp and clear. Down below this touchscreen system, we do have your climate controls, automatic climate control with dual zone, your heated seat buttons, heated steering wheel button, automatic stop start on or off button, traction control, your select speed button. Screen off is going to just turn this whole screen off and make it black. Two knob over to the right. Down below that, we do have controls for each of our windows. The two front windows are going to be automatic up and down. Folding up this media tab is going to give you your aux port and USB hookups. Auxiliary 1, 2, 3, and 4 buttons. Just next to your shifter is going to be your 2 high, 4 high, neutral, and 4 low shiftable gear for your four-wheel drive. Behind that is going to be your e-brake two cup holders located next to that center console with an upper tray and a lower storage area with your second USB port down in there circular ventilation ducts and over on the passenger side you'll notice a dull finished brush chrome speakers on each side of the dash and also speakers located at the left side of the driver's knee and the right side of the passenger's knee on the right side of the steering wheel, you do have cruise control. Chrome outlining with your Jeep logo in the center. Also chrome surrounding your toggle switches and Bluetooth controls, your cruise control, and your third spoke down here being a chrome finish. Garage door opener. On your driver's side, sun visor. Plastic sun visors. Vanity mirrors on each side. At all four entries of the vehicle, you do have grab handles to help make it much easier getting up into the Jeep. Circular ventilation ducts in the rear of the vehicle as well. In the center, just below those ventilation ducts, are going to be the controls for your rear power windows. In the center of the vehicle, dividing the front from the rear, is interior lighting and also two large speakers on the left and right of the Jeep. Very spacious down here, not cramped or crowded at all. 
and the legroom back here is generous allowing your rear passengers to have plenty of room and be comfortable whether you're going on a recreational trip or a road trip whatever you might be taking the gladiator for you're definitely going to be comfortable rear cup holders in the center now these rear headrests are adjustable as you can see by pressing the button right there and they also do fold down additional storage back here with a net and cargo tray child seat hookups The length of the bed on the Gladiator is going to be 60 inches in length. Also expected in the future is the 3 liter eco diesel motor. Being that the bed of the Jeep is steel, that definitely helps with the payload and towing capacity. And in the rear doors, you are going to find that your armrest here is somewhat soft to the touch and a little bit padded for extra comfort. Additional storage slots up here on the dash. Lockable glove box. In here, you will find that you do have your owner's manual still in the original factory packaging with a nice green case, dash grab handle, halogen headlamps, fog lights, side lighting, also your Jeep face engraved into your halogen headlamps on the inside. front bumper hooks we are getting ready to merge onto the highway right now and we're not going to be able to come to a complete stop for the acceleration but we'll get you a brief acceleration test just to see how it merges onto the highway I'm at 60 already very decent for a vehicle of this size and considering that that acceleration was on a little bit of an incline there so there you have it that's my review of the all-new 2020 Jeep Gladiator sport package with quite a bit of extra options that we had the chance to go over to help inform you on what the new Gladiator has to offer for more car reviews just like this one be sure to subscribe today, turn on notifications before you go, and also, before you leave, comment and let me know your thoughts on my review of the 2020 Gladiator and also the vehicle itself. Thanks for watching.